بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از ایور گرین اسلامک سینٹر ٹونائٹ ان شاء اللہ ان دی تراوی وچ از تراوی نمبر تھرٹین آف منتھ آف رمضان وی ول بی کمپلیٹنگ سورہ القحف اینڈ دین آفٹر دیٹ سورہ مریم اینڈ دین سورہ توحا and part of Surah Al-Anbiya. So the portion that we completed of Surah Al-Kahf uh, last night, we will continue from that point onward. The ayat that is going to start of Surah Al-Kahf tonight is ayat number 76. <clears throat> the story of Musa alayhi salam and his companion Khidr, it continues the story proceeds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <clears throat> somehow or the other brought to the knowledge of Musa alayhi salam about this person Khidr who had some special knowledge and Musa alayhi salam decided to learn that knowledge and he went and met this person. The person whose name is mentioned Khidr, it's not in the Quran but it is mentioned in the books of the history. <clears throat> told him that he will not be able to have patience with him by seeing what Khidr is going to do. Upon that, Musa salam made the commitment that he will not ask any questions. So the first thing that happened is that they both, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fan talaqa, they both started walking. Hatta idha rakiba fi safinati kharaqaha until they boarded a ship, a boat, and um, Khidr broke it. He made a hole in there. <clears throat> Upon that, Musa alayhi salam, had he had promised that he will have patience, could not keep. He asked him, Akharaqtaha li tuhuriqa ahlaha. Have you broken this boat? So you might drown the people who are on the boat. Laqad jirata shayan imra, you have brought out something which is very big. So upon that, Khidr said, I told you, you will not have patience with me. And Musa salam made commitment one more time that he will not ask anymore. Fantalaqa, then they started walking again. Hatta iza laqiya hulaman until they met a child. فَقَتَلَهُ So Khidr killed him. Again, Musa a.s. could not have patience. قَالَ قَتَلْتَ نَفْسًا زَكِيَّةً بِغَيْرِ نَفْسِ He said, have you killed a child, a person, without him doing anything? لَقَدْ جِعْتَ شَيْئًا نُكْرَى You have done something very wrong. So upon that, Khidr again told him that I told you, you will not have patience with me. So this time, Qala in Sal Tukan Shayim Badaha, Musa alayhi salam said, if I ask any more questions after that, Fala to sahibni, then don't give me the company. So then he, his excuse this, this time was accepted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Fan talaqa hatta iza ataya ahla qariyati. They continued walking until they reached to a town and they asked the people of the town to host them or to give them food. Fa'abaw, Quran says they refused anyudayyifuhuma that they would make them guests in the, in the town. So they moved on from there, but then fawajada fiha jidarain, so they found a wall that was yuridu an about to fall down. Fa'qamahu, so Khidr fixed it. Then again Musa alayhi salam could not keep quiet. He says, Qala law takhasta alayhi ajra. If you had willed, you would have taken some payment for that. They did not host us, but at least this way you could have something to eat. So upon that, <coughs> Khidr told him that Hada firaqo baini wa bainika, it's time to separation between me and you. And I'm going to tell you those things that you had no patience. 
So he told first thing that Amma Safina to Fakanat li masakina ya amaluna fil bahri. As far as the boat is concerned, it belonged to some needy people. Ya amaluna fil bahri, they used to work in the ocean. Faharat to an aibaha wa kana wara ahum malikun. That I intended to make a defect in that so it could not sail anymore because on the other side of the river there was a king yahuzo kulla safinatin ghasba he was snatching all the boats by 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 force then he said gave the next reason that wamal ghulamo fakana abawahu mu'minaini this boy that i killed his parents were believers fakhashina so we feared an yurhiqahuma tughyanan wa kufra that when this child grows up he will turn his parents towards disobedience and transgression faradna yubdilahuma rabbuhuma khairan minhu zakatan wa aqrab ruhma so we intended that their lord would give them a better child than this one who will be near and more merciful and as far as the wall is concerned fakana li ghulamain yatimain it belonged to two orphan children in this city wa kana tahtuhu kanzu lahumain underneath there was a treasure that was left by their father wa kana abuhuma saliha and their father was a righteous person fa arada rabbuka an yablugha shuddahuma wa yastakhrija kanzahuma rahmatan mir rabbik so we intended that these children grow up and they take out their treasure which their father had left behind so these are the three things that he said you could not have patience so one interesting thing from the last portion is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is protecting the orphan children because their father was a righteous person so if a man is a righteous man <clears throat> at that time it may not show up but when his children grow up Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the mercy that father of the people was a righteous person Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards those the people Then after that we move on <coughs> to the next ayat Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the story of Zul Qarnain Wa yas'aluna ka an Zul Qarnain O prophet they ask you about Zul Qarnain who was Zul Qarnain Qul sa'atlu alaykum minhu dhikra I will recite to you about him mentioning about him Zul Qarnain was a king and a righteous king and his kingdom was spread over east and west and then he decided to travel with his army so he stopped in multiple places quran describes the detail until he reached to a place where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says hatta iza balagha bayna saddaini until he reached between two mountains wajadaha min dunihima qauman la yakaduna yafqahuna qawla he found a people there who had they, there was no understanding in in the language between his people and these people in the in the town there but anyway <coughs> they communicated somehow or the other and they told him ya dal qarnaini inna yajuja wa majuja mufsiduna fil ardi There are some people who are called Gog and Magog. They come and attack us and they spread the corruption in the land. So is it possible that we give you some payment and you make a wall between us and them between those two mountains? So Zulqarnain responded that qala ma makkanni fihi rabbi khairun fa'inuni biquwwatin. He said what my lord has given me that is more and better than what it is that you want to give me but help me with the strength and I will make a wall between these two mountains then he uh, he asked the, his his soldiers and the people to bring the the boards of iron and he made a straight uh, wall kind of thing between the two mountains and then he said 
burn the fire hatta iza jaalahu naran when it became a strong fire he told there was a copper he said melt this copper and then bring that molten copper to me and i will or my soldiers will pour between the boards of the steel so this way a very strong wall was built between the two mountains that stopped the path where these yajuj and majuj were coming and attacking these people and it was so strong that zulqarnain said that the people will not be able to either climb or make holes in this wall <clears throat> so that is the story of zulqarnain then we reach <clears throat> to the end of the surah where allah subhanahu wa taala is mentioning about his greatness by saying qul say o prophet law kana al bahru midadan if all the ocean is made the ink li kalimati rabbi to write the words of your lord of my lord which allah subhanahu wa taala la nafid al bahru the ocean will end up will dry up qabla an tanfad kalimatu rabbi before that the words of allah subhanahu wa taala are done walau jina bi mislihi madada even if you if we bring another ocean like that then allah subhanahu wa taala is telling prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam qul inna ma na basharum mislukum say i am only a human being like you you ha the only difference is that i receive the wahy inspiration the revelation that ilahukum ilahu wahid that your lord is only one lord faman kana yarju liqa rabbihi so whosoever expects that he will meet his lord fal ya'mal amalan saliha then let him do the righteous deeds or and, and more important that is wala yushrik bi ibadati rabbihi ahada and he should not associate any partnership with allah subhanahu wa taala in his worship then we will start surah maryam as the name is the, there is a description about maryam alaiha salam who was the mother of isa alaihi salam but the surah starts with the description of zakaria and his son yahya zakaria was also a prophet and he was the one who was look was going to look after maryam alaiha salam when she was born but at this time he himself does not have a child so he making dua to allah subhanahu wa taala allah subhanahu wa taala says kaf ha ya ain sawad dhikru rahmati rabbika abduhu zakariya the mention of the rahma of the mercy of your lord of his servant zakariya is nada rabbahu nida an khafiya when he stood up and he called his lord making dua <coughs> that o oh allah give me a child so allah subhanahu wa taala says ya zakariya inna nubashshiruka bi ghulamin o oh zakariya we give you a good news of a child ismuhu yahya his name will be john the baptist lam naj'al lahu min qablu samiya and we have not given this name to any other child any other person so then this child was born and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed this child with the prophethood also and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then goes mentioning the story of maryam alaiha salam allah says wazkur fil kitab maryam mention in this book about maryam alaiha salam is in tabasat min ahliha makanan sharqiya when she separated herself from her family to a house which was on the eastern side fattakhazat min dunihim hijaban and she took a kind of curtain around her from the people farsalna ilaiha ruhana so allah said we sent towards her our spirit which was jibril fatamassala laha basharan sawiya and he appeared in front of her as a complete human being a man she got scared qalat 
inni a'uzu bir rahmani in kunta taqiya she said to him i seek refuge with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ar rahman from you if you have any fear <clears throat> upon that jibril who was in the shape form of a human being replied innama ana rasul rabbika i am a messenger from your lord rabbiki from your lord li ahaba laki ghulaman zakiya so i may bestow upon you a pure child and she said qalat anna yakunu li ghulamun she said how would i have a child walam yamsasni basharun walam aku baghiya and no man has touched me and i am not a, a person who has who goes around qala kazaliki he said that's the way it's going to be qala rabbuki huwa alayya hayyin he said it is easy for your lord to do and so he may made ayatul linasi a sign for the people wa rahmatan minna and a mercy from us from allah subhanahu wa taala wakana amram maqdiya and this matter has been already judged so it's going to happen so fam hamalat fa fantabazat bihi makanan qasiya so she got, she got pregnant and she moved to a farther house and then she had the pains of the you know the child birth she went through that and then when the child was born she came to her pupil holding the child <clears throat> fatat bi qaumaha tahmiluhu she walked to the pupil to her pupil holding this child qalu ya maryam they said oh maryam laqad jaita shay'an fariya you have brought something very big ya ukhta harun o oh sister of harun ma kana abuk imrasu in your father was not a bad person wama kanat ummu ki baghiya nor your mother was a prostitute or some you know like that fa asharat ilaihi so she pointed to him to uh, isa who was a child qalu kayfa to kallimu they said how can we talk to him man kana fil mahdi sabiya who is still a child infant in the cradle <coughs> Upon that Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala gave the ability to speak to child Musa Isa alayhi salam qala inni abdullah he said i am the servant of allah atani al kitaba he has given me the book wa ja'alani and he has made me nabiya a prophet wa ja'alani mubarakan he has blessed me blessed me aina ma kuntu wherever i am وَأَوْصَانِي بِالصَّلَاةِ وَالزَّكَاةِ مَا دُمْتُ حَيًّا and he has advised me for praying and giving the charity as long as i live allah says zalika isa ibn maryam this is isa ibn maryam qaul al haqq al ladhi fihi yamtarun this is the word of the truth in which these people have doubts <coughs> ma kana lillah it's not for allah an yattakhiza min waladin that he would take a child subhanahu be he glorified idha qada amran whenever he decides to do some matter fain nama yaqulu lahu kun fayakun all he does says be and it is then <coughs> we will continue to the next surah surah taha surah taha is mostly the description of uh, musa alaihi salam <coughs> and his life the surah starts with a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem taha ma anzalna alaykal qur'ana litashqa allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we what we have uh, revealed to you o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the qur'an we have not done it so you go through the hardship illa tazkiratan liman yakhsha except this is a reminder for him who fears allah subhanahu wa taala tanzilam mimman khalaq al arda wa as samawati al ula it has been revealed it has been sent down to you 
from the one who created the earth and the heavens the exalted the high heavens ar rahmanu ala al arsh istawa he is ar rahman and he is established on the throne lahu ma fi as samawati wa ma fi al ard belongs to him whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is on the earth wa ma bainahuma and whatsoever is in between these two wa ma tahat as sara and what is underneath the earth allah says wa in tajhar bil qawli if you speak openly or loudly fa innahu ya'lamu al sirra wa akhfa he knows everything either it is open or it is hidden allah la ilaha illa hu allah there is no one as the deity besides him lahul asmaul husna husna his are the best of the names then the story of musa alai salam starts after the initial tasbih of allah subhanahu wa taala wa hal ataka hadith musa <coughs> Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says has the story of Musa reached to you is ra'a naran when he saw a fire faqala li ahlihim kusu inni anastu nara so before the the before this is <coughs> Musa alay salam grew up in the palace of the king and at one time he turned he noticed that he belonged musa alai salam himself himself belonged to bani israil who were made slaves to the king so he he grew up in the king in the king's palace but his sympathy later on turned towards the bani israil who were slaves because they were his people and at one point he tried to resolve a fight between two people two men and when he hit one of them he died and then they decided that musa is becoming a trouble let us kill him so he was informed by some insider of the palace that people are planning to kill you so you leave the town so he in rush left the town he ended up in the city called median there he met two women one of them invited and her father offered her in marriage to him so he lived with that wife in that house for about 10 years that was the contract and then he took his family and left from median back to egypt <clears throat> but on the way at night time it was cold and he lost his way so this is where the story starts id ra'a naran he saw a fire faqala li ahlihim kusu he told his people family stay here inni anastu nara i have seen a fire la alli atikum minha bi qabsin naw ajid ala nar huda i will go and bring something to warm up or i'll try to find out our direction falamma taha nudiya ya musa when he arrived close to the fire he was called O Musa inni ana rabbuka I am your lord fakhla ana alayka take off your shoes innaka bil wadil muqaddas tuwa you are in a sacred valley its name is tuwa <clears throat> and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inni ana Allah la ilaha illa ana fa'budni I am the lord I am Allah so worship me wa aqim as-salata li zikri and establish the prayer for my remembrance and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to musa alayhi salam qala hiya asaya so wa ma tilka bi yaminika ya musa o musa what is in your right hand qala hiya asaya he said this is my staff and i do certain certain things with this i shake off the leaves of the tree for my goats and i lean against it and i have few other uses for that allah subhanahu wa taala says alqaha alqaha ya qala alqiha ya musa o musa throw it down on the ground 
فعل کا فائزا یا حیتن تس آ وین ہی تھرو اٹ ڈاؤن اٹ ٹرن ان ٹو اے اسنیک اے سرپینٹ وچ واز موونگ کالا خز ہا والا تخف اللہ سیڈ ہولڈ اٹ ڈونٹ وری ڈونٹ فیئر سا نو ای دوہا سیر اتحل اولا وی ول ریٹرن اٹ بیک ٹو اٹس اوریجنل شیپ دین دی سیکنڈ تھنگ اللہ سیز ود مم ید کا الا جناہ کا پٹ یور ہینڈ بائی یور آ انڈر آرم تخرو جو بے دو ام ان غیر سو اٹ ول کم آؤٹ شائننگ وائٹ ود آؤٹ اینی ڈیزیز آیتن اخرا دس از اے سیکنڈ سائن ٹو یو دین اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ سے ادھا بلا فراؤنا انہو تغا گو ٹو فیرو ہی از ریبیلنگ سو موسیٰ علیہ السلام میڈ سم دو آز بائی سنگ کالا ربش رحلی صدری او اللہ اوپن اپ مائی چیسٹ فور سپیکنگ ویسر لی امری اینڈ میک مائی میٹر ایزی فور می وحل العقدتم من لسانی اینڈ اوپن اپ دی ناٹ ان مائی ٹنگ دو آئی کین گیو اے بیٹر سپیچ یف کہو قولی میک اٹ ایزی مائی ورڈ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ ٹو ادر پیپل وج علی وزیرم من اہلی ہارون اخی آئی ہیو بردر ہارون میک ہم مائی ہیلپر ٹو ان دس میٹر سو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ایکسیپٹیڈ آل ہز دو آز اینڈ ہی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ریمائنڈیڈ ہم دیٹ وی ہیو ڈن این ادر فیور ایٹ ون ٹائم when you were born and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when your mother was worried before you were you were born because at that time the king's magicians had told him that a child will be born and he will be the cause for the destruction of your kingdom and he will belong to bani israel who were living there as in immigrants <clears throat> so king send out the order that whenever a new baby a new child is born kill that child so musa's mother at that time was pregnant and she worried that as soon as she gives birth the army the people of the pharaoh will come <coughs> and will kill the baby so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding at this time when he is giving him the prophethood about his birth by saying that is our haina ila ummika ma yuha when at one time before you were born we inspired your mother anq zafihi fi tabuti that when the child is born put him in a box faq zafihi fil yammi and drop this box in the water in the ocean on the the river that was flowing fal yulqihi al yamm bi sahili that box will continue floating on the water and that river was going under the palace of the king somebody will pick you up there and who is the, that aduwul li wa aduwul lahu there that person who is going to pick you up his people will pick you up he is my enemy and your enemy and that's pharaoh allah says wa alqaytu alayka mahabbatan minni so i put in uh, love for you in the in the hearts of the other people So what happened when he was picked up there his mother was crying behind that not knowing where the child went so she sent he had a sister older sister so she told her older sister follow this box and see where it ends up so she was quietly following the box until she found out that in the palace some people had picked up the box and they brought the, it was infant child and he was crying so they tried to feed by some other women who were breastfeeding other children and he completely refused to drink anything so sister went there and she says can i tell you someone who can nurse her him and they said all oh, bring anyone because he is not drinking anything so she went and brought the mother back to the palace and as soon as musa alaihi salam saw the mother he started drinking milk So this way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we give this blessing upon you that we brought your mother back to you in this way that neither you were killed and then you ended up in the palace in the secure and safe place instead of a danger of your life. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminded him and then he said go to Pharaoh 
now you have been made a prophet of us from us and now go and meet pharaoh and invite him towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <clears throat> so musa alayhi salam went there and he presented the message of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pharaoh and upon that he said do you have how do you prove that you are from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <clears throat> so musa alayhi salam through his aside became serpent he brought his hand out um it became shining white so upon that pharaoh said this is magician he said you have brought a magic to us and so he said ajitna li tukhrijna you have come to us so you may expel min ardina from our land bi sihrika ya musa by your magic o musa so he brought his own magicians and then the uh, story continues i'm going to show and it shortly because of the time uh, so the story continues that magicians were brought in and musa alaihi salam and magicians had competition first they threw uh, their their uh, ropes and their sticks and they looked like magic the snakes allah subhanahu wa taala commanded musa alaihi salam to throw his staff which swallowed all this fake thing that they had made the strange thing is that allah subhanahu wa taala in another place says that that the magicians when they threw the ropes and the sticks they were still seeing them sticks and ropes but they control the minds of the people so people allah subhanahu wa ta'ala using the word yo khayyilo takhayyul thinking they control the mind like a hypnosis that people were seeing them as moving like snakes not only that even the prophet of allah is seeing them like snakes pharaoh is seeing and everybody is seeing them like snakes so that is the magic they had brought allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked musa alai salam to throw his staff and that swallowed all that magic so in this surah because this surah taha is basically the entire story of musa alai salam the story continues that <clears throat> after some time allah subhanahu wa taala made it easy for musa alai salam and he took bani israel out of egypt in uh, palestine but as soon as they arrived there they started disobeying the commandments of allah subhanahu wa taala they made a calf they started worshiping them they they turned against musa alai salam there and many many things happened in that area so inshallah i'm going to stop so as i said tonight we will be completing surah al kahf after that we'll be reciting surah maryam and after that surah taha and few ayats of surah al anbiya May Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand the Quran and act upon sadaqallahu alazim. Allahu akbar Allahu akbar. Allah